when we click on the tools uh, on the DT Ocean GUI, we will be prompt to this uh, user interface, which is the user interface for the analysis isolated wave energy converter. Um, we will uh, present the case uh, of a single heating cylinder. Um, so at the entrance of the GUI, you will be prompt to ask to decide whether to load the previous project or a new project. In this case, I would create a new project. The first step is to generate a uh, um, project, uh, select a project folder. And uh, then we will select the project type. In this case, we need we are interested in running Nemo. Nemo is a boundary element method software, which is uh, it's a boundary element method software um, developed by a call center of the NAM and is the core for the calculation of the solution of the um, um, hydrodynamic problem of the floating structure. So in this case, the software is divided in three main modules. Um, so the modules are visible, are selectable in the main windows. On the left side panel, we have the module, the list of modules uh, active, and uh, the color, uh, the color code is used to identify where the, the module is deactivated, black. The module is active and uh, ready to receive input blue or green when the module is ready and have been uh, finalized. So we will have uh, first to start with the aerodynamic module and then we will go through the other module in other tutorial. So the aerodynamic module we start by inputting the general input which are the number of degrees of independent degrees of freedom of the body. In this case we have a single body so the number of degrees of freedom is uh, equal to the if degrees of freedom, which is the only allow allowed. Uh, then we input the the ID of the P of the degrees of freedom connected to the PTO. In this case, is one because we have only the if degrees of freedom. Then we will not input any. We will not have any moving stiffness, so we will leave this uh, space blank. We will. Uh, input the number of frequency 5 the minimum frequency 0 1 in radian per second and the max frequency which is 1.5 in radian per second um, I centered the frequency around the natural frequency of the body we are talking about a cylinder of 10 meter radius and 10 meter draft um, after we will specify the number of wave angle to analyze which is um, we will have only four um, and the water depth uh, which is we are I have input 50 um, if since the this good user interface is the, devoted to the DD ocean is primarily developed for the DD ocean tool we need to solve uh, the array interaction theory matrices and therefore we cannot specify an infinite water depth which is represented by a zero. So we will uh, select to generate the array interaction matrices. Uh, we specify the number of all these discretization in the vertical dimension to be 20 and uh, in the radial the discretization in the radial dimension to be 20 again. And then we will start with the body description. So the first point is to specify which is the point of application of the equation of motion with respect to the global coordinate system, which is in this case the mesh given in the mesh file. In this case, I will solve the equation of motion at the point 0, 0, 0. And I will specify the degrees of freedom of the body to be the eve only. After we specify the degrees of freedom of the floating body, we will start to specify the parameters and the feature of each body on the WEC. In this case, we have only a single rigid body. 
So we specify first the mesh file, which is stored in the it can be given in the GDF file, which is a VAMIT format, or it can be given in the Nemo compliant file. Uh, we can visualize the mesh using uh, the mesh view mesh button. We can visualize the norm of the mesh. Um, and this gives you the user the ability to check the mesh prior to start the boundary element of the solver. Then we can give the body an ID, which is need, which is unique. And uh, we need to give the which is specified the center of gravity of the body with respect to the body coordinate system. Since this is the body, there is only one body, the coordinate system is, uh, is uh, supposed to be the point of application of the equation of motion. So in this case, we want the center of gravity to be 5 meter uh, on the, in the downward direction um, with respect to the 0, 0, 0 point. Therefore, I specify 0, 0, minus 5. I can specify the orientation of the coordinate system. In this case, I don't want to have any orientation, so it's a 0, 0, 0. These angles are rho, pitch, and u, uh, which are gi given in degrees as Euler angles. Then um, I will specify the parent, the, par the ID of the parent uh, body, of, the, of this body. Since this is only a single body and there is no parent, we will specify minus 1 and the body mass which is specific value for this body and the uh, inertia tensor given of the body at the body coordinate system in this case since we are only we only care about the if i will specify only a unit and um, i um, an identity matrix uh, once i specify all the body parameters i can add the body into the table and uh, as you can see I can add multiple copy and uh, I can remove the body at this stage there is no check on the data the data check will be given we will be done uh, after we submit the input uh, all these values are editable in the table um, I didn't talk about the relative degrees of freedom between body and parent and the child position because this is a single body so we will have no child and no body between, uh, no degrees of freedom between body and parent but this is a feature that is implemented in the GUI so the GUI is able to solve a multi-body wave energy converter such as RM3 or Palamis uh, once all the input are given, are given for the dynamic, we can submit the input. If any of the input is missing, uh, the user will be prompted with the missing items. And then we can press calculate. The time, the calculation time is depending on the number of degrees of freedom, uh, number of frequency and number of angles, the, by the specification of the cylinder for their interaction matrix, but also is depending on the um, number of um, panel in the mesh file. In this case, we just run the system for five frequency and uh, with the pretty coarse mesh, so we don't have <coughs> a large computational time. Uh, as you can see on the left side, now the hydrodynamic turn green means that all the input have been satisfied. Um, now and now the performance fit and data visualization forms are active and ready to be used. So the first we will look at the data visualization module. Uh, since the aerodynamic performance, the aerodynamic module has been completed, we can visualize all the data relative to the aerodynamic module. Uh, this is only a subset of the full data of the project, as meaning that we can read the radiation coefficient, the excitation coefficient, the mass matrix, and hydrostatic stiffness for each wave angle that we analyzed, and degrees of freedom. Uh, to visualize the power matrix, the REO, and the other value, we need to 
first um, uh, run the performance fitting. So in this case, the module can be the data visualization module can be used. It's, the usage is self-explanatory. We can select the parameter we want to visualize, and then we can up update the blob. We can pan, and we can zoom in the plot, and we can also come back to the default view. In this case, I'm looking at the excitation coefficient in terms of magnitude and phase. Um, uh, I can change angles if I, I want, and uh, in this case it's not changing anything because the system uh, is axisymmetric. Um, So once the adrenaline module has been completed, we can start to import and uh, implement the performance feed. Uh, this module is mostly used for input uh, the PTO damping, the moving stiffness, other additional damping and stiffness value to be implemented in the equation of motion, but also to uh, give the ability of the user to provide a certified power matrix and a given and a, scatter, and a relative scatter diagram in order to perform an error minimization between the fully linear numerical model that is being implemented in the in in the GUI and the user provide power matrix. The error is going to be minimized uh, using a linear um, an optimization method, an optimization routine, uh, and uh, the parameters that are going to be changed are the damping and stiffness matrices, which are going to be added to the equation of motion. So the first part that we need to input in the performance feed is the weather weighing uh, angle span of the machine. In this case, I, I don't, um, it's not of any importance because the machine is axisymmetric, but for a non axisymmetric machine, like for example a Pelamis, it's important to specify which is the angle, uh, the water brain capability of the machine. For example, for the Pelamis, I will input uh, 180 degrees um, if, it's, if the device is um, allowed to rotate in this range. Um, then we will specify the spectrum type uh, related to the scatter diagram that we are going to be input, uh, the peak enhancement factor, and this is going to be used only if the, the spectrum type is a Jones web, and then the spreading parameter for the, for the spectrum, uh, for, the, uh, for the discretization the wave angle. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be input zero, which means that there is no spreading, so it's a long crested wave. And after that, I can browse the data folder, um, which is in this case, it's a folder which contains a specific file, six specific files, and I'm going to show you uh, in a second. Um, once I specify the folder that contains the given file, I can try to load the data. And uh, at this point, I can decide to fit the data, uh, fit the power matrix provided, the certified power matrix provided by the user with the internally calculated uh, power matrix, or I can just keep the power matrix fitting. In which case, uh, I will generate the zero damping and zero stiffness matrices for the fitting. In this case, I'm going to skip the performance fitting matrix. Um, um, I can visualize the data that I input in the in the in this case by selecting the relative parameter and then uh, clicking on the plot button. Uh, so, for example, in this case, the PTO damping is going to be 336 uh, kilonewton. Uh, the morning stiffness is zero, and then and so are the damping and the external stiffness. This parameter can be given for each of the angles uh, on input on the machine. So the, the power matrix fitting will read the, the folder and the folder needs to contain uh, 
six parameter six uh, CSV files. Um, each of them they are going to be described in the next uh, video. The performance feed uh, will read the given fo uh, folder. Uh, we will scan for six files, and the file needs to be named as performance feed, uh, as given in this example. Uh, each file contains uh, information about the dump the relative value. Uh, so in this case, I'm opening the performance feed external damping, uh, which is a CSV file. And uh, since we are talking about only one degrees of freedom, the, C the, the matrix is going to be a one by one element. Uh, in case I have, uh, for example, a six degrees of freedom system, I will have to specify six by six uh, matrix. Um, the index of the degrees of freedom is uh, use, using uh, the canonical format, um, the numbering using the canonical format. Um, so the more interesting bit of information are stored in the, for example, in the PTO feed. In this case, we will, we will have a value of, uh, as given before, of 336 kilonewton um, and uh, so another important bit is the power matrix and uh, so power matrix and the uh, scatter diagram so the scatter diagram uh, summarize the information, the meteor ocean condition at the at the site. Uh, and it to have this precise format, uh, where we specify the energy period of the wave, the significant wave height in meter, and the direction in degrees of freedom. These are um, is given. And after the direction the vector of direction, we will start to specify the probability of occurrence per direction. Um, the probability of occurrence is given in, the variation is given in terms of HM0 and in terms of D. And we will repeat this information for each angle by changing the angle value. Um, similarly, the power matrix is being given is given in terms of angles so for each angle we need to specify the power matrix in terms of significant wave height and wave energy period um, So once the performance feed uh, module has been finalized, uh, the color name uh, turned green in the left panel, and now we are we have the ability to visualize all the data that has been uh, uh, assessed during the during the calculation. Uh, compared with before, now we are we have access to also the parameter which are rel related to the performance feed data in this case for example the fitting damping as given before we skip the fitting damping the, fi the performance feed so we will have zero damping and zero stiffness um, as much as the uh, original power matrix which is the power matrix calculated by the li fully linear numerical model is going to be equal to the power matrix uh, to the fitted power matrix because there is no fitting damping as no stiffness. We can uh, also see the the user power matrix, so the certified power matrix provided by the user, and the REO, 
So the area can be visualized per degrees of freedom and per wave angle. In this case, we have a Eve device. The discretization is really poor, so there is not much information in this graph. But uh, since we have uh, a damped um, oscillator, we see that there is no major peak in the zone around the natural frequency, which is staying from 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 hertz. Uh, and the uh, ARIO goes to a unitary value at low frequency and goes to zero for high frequency. Is it possible also to visualize this, the power matrix, uh, sorry, the ARIO per each C state since there is a power matrix fitting and the power matrix fitting is, is calculated for each C state? Is it possible to have this to visualize the ARIO per C state? In this case, again, there is no fitting and no no fitting uh, information, so each C state will uh, have exactly the same copy of the ARIO. So once we have completed all the form, and all the form are turning green. Is it possible if we, in the aerodynamic module, we have um, checked the calculation of their interaction matrices? Is it possible to generate the um, file um, um, used by the the ocean tool to run their interaction? To calculate to solve their interaction problem. Um, in this case, I need to go to DT Ocean under the in the toolbar DT Ocean and generate array hydrodynamic. Uh, this will generate uh, um, a file called Wax Solution dot H5, uh, which is then used by as specifically said before, is going to be used by the DT Ocean tool to solve their interaction matrix.